Well, this is number five coming up today. Painting by numbers. Right, I'll uh, I'll do I'll do uh, the seven islands. I've I've only done that uh, once in the last three or four weeks, uh, as far as I remember. So we've got um, Fabriano, one hundred and thirty pound paper. We've wet it all over. That's soaking a little bit. And we've got uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin and crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and burnt sienna. They're Windsor and Newton, Cotsman watercolours in the large tubes, the, the 21 mil tubes. Right, and while that's wet, I'll just give that a bit of a bit of a colour with some warm sienna, raw sienna. sky a bit heavier on the top so we've got something like a a uh, light coming through the middle Leaving the centre lighter than the edges. So a nice heavy sky, good, good heavy stuff here. Right, the paper's growing, so we'll recap it. No need to stretch the paper, you'll be relieved to know. Right, just put it tight and reclip it. It's perfectly flat and then we can put in some nice background of those colours so distant distant trees I'm going to cover up a lot of this. I've done this view from memory so many times. I like painting from memory. It frees you from reference material. It's always a good thing if you can do it. These are the distant trees, although they're not really distant. Mission Common and Seven Islands is it's a small common land where well, I think legally we can graze our cattle, but living in South London, not a great demand. Right, so we'll put in some warmer colours there, a bit of alizarin crimson, a bit of, bit of burnt sienna, just to show some. Variety, bit of green, and a bit of more sienna, burnt sienna, just to ring the changes, a bit of alizarin, a bit of sienna, raw sienna. A nice lot of colours in the background there. I'm going to put some island, or spot an island in there, and some beaches. So, so let's all look off. Gone and touched. Mm -hmm. We'll be going uphill a little bit. Perhaps we are just a touch. So I'll just uh, lift out some trees. Just some door trunks. Right, let's uh, bring some reflections down there. 
leave a bit of a margin in that green. Put that blue back in there. So the paper's drying quite nicely now. So what we can do is on a dry brush and lifting out. So that's sort of our reflection, so we can just drag all that down there. Right, okay. Probably made a mistake there, but never mind. The paper dried quite quickly, we're surprised we've had loads of rain today. I'll just go over that with some harder put some blues a bit in there. Right, I think I'm labouring this a bit too too much, so let's put in some beaches from Siena. An island coming across here. And as that dries, we can we can add some dry brush to it. Like darks, which darks now. Some pebbly stuff in. There are, aren't any rocks, but, but they're just they're lots of pebbles. Just here and there. Shortcut and use uh, some paint spray in there. Loads of uh, little trees, hawthorn.
put some variety in them. Grasses. I'll do those with through the river, I think. Some nice colours in there. Right, let's put in some evergreen sort of stuff here. Solve the problem of that reflection. We put above, put below. It all adds to the impression of a lot going on when really all you're doing is this. Really into thick paint here. A bit of yellow. A lot of uh, shrubby trees around this. We just managed to preserve a bit of light across there. Let's say you use the rigger now. Some nice dark bits of trunk. Quite dark with the uh, paint grey and burnt sienna. Just some bits going on up here. Could be an early morning picture this. All right. Bit of spring green. Put a bit of blue in behind that, so a bit of distance, a bit of alizarin, a bit of blue. Gives the impression that there's, there's some trees behind. It's an art in itself, keeping the uh, hairs together. Bristle, should I say? Yes. Oh, nice then. Just extending beyond a little bit. Okay, well I'm going to... Not much more I can do with that, really. A bit more detail, maybe. All adds to the effect of water. I'll give it a signature and then we'll put a couple of birds in. Okay. 
Okay. Nothing more than that. But we'll do. bit more dark in there. Let's just get that going off the picture there. Right, okay. There we are. Mm, five in a day. Well, Well, I can't waste my time. I, I don't do a lot of day work now. But I had it with the old carpets. So there we are. Um, let's come in and zoom, zoom you in. Now they've got quite a nice effect, I think. Right, let's go into the background. You see, I started to go wrong with that reflection because I should have done it wet and the paper had dried. So by painting these islands in front, I've got the impression now of seven islands. It's a bit of a looks a bit of a mess, but it's quite impressionist, and I like it. I am a sucker for these sort of views, but all of them now are made up. I haven't been over to Miss McComber for about a year. I used to cycle over there and take the photographs and then paint from the photographs. But I have so many and I've, uh, uh, paintings now that I'd rather work from the paintings and develop those and see, see how far we can go with them. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I did. Bye-bye.